Do not close the door. You said he wanted it closed. I know, and I changed my mind. Anyways. Um, what else? Let's see. I lost my train of thought there, Tate. Thanks. Uh, on the I was doing my YouTube video. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, go on, Tate. So I can 
finish my train of thought. Why are you being rude? Well, when I say go on, I'm trying to do something. Okay, so um, also I should mention, you can make these as big as you want. I usually make mine about the size of my my hands, so, well, not my nails and everything. Um, will you hand me, tape, tape, you hand me one of the round ones in there so I can show the table. That's fine, just do the mouth Okay, so here's some examples. You'll see what I mean. It's about the size of my hands. Opened. And that way, when you're scrubbing, I'll just scrub this. When you're scrubbing, it covers a lot of the surface. So, you get it. And these ones are for sale. Excuse me, ladies. And these, um, sorry, okay, so these ones, um, I have different varieties. This is just your basic scrubby. It's just together and it works really well. And it's just a basic one. You see it's kind of tight knit. Okay. This is a little bit more. I like this one the best. Um, it's got a little bit more room and it seems to grip when you're scrubbing. But again, this is the favorite one that I um, make for everyone else. They like this one. Also, it's more like a Brillo pad, I guess, but it's still really soft and you can use it for everything so it doesn't scratch pans. But it does get yucky stuff off. Um, this is the sponge scrubby. It's shaped like a sponge. Um, and it works exactly the same. You just kind of fold it over and you... I don't know if you can tell, but like this. And it works really good. Um, I'm going to start making some face ones out of uh, a little bit thinner washcloth. And so you can exfoliate. Great. But anyways, for now. So you see where I'm at as far as this is what I'm working on. This is where I'm going with it. Um, and I use one of these balls. Uh, they're... I think they're 76. Okay, you're being cold. I think they're about 76 yards. And uh, oh, your fire is on, out of control I'm here. Okay, 76 yards makes about uh, seven of these, mm -hmm. and I'm on number five. So if you see how much is left, they don't take that much. Um, and I don't roll these into balls. This is just the way it came. Either way, so, um, I'm trying to think of what else I was going to tell everybody. I quit smoking. Month six, no smoking. Um, I don't know. I figured it was better to be spending the money on something better than cigarettes. So I just quit. Didn't use any Chantex or any of those things you hear about right now. Nothing. So, and I feel better about it. I don't mind. And the girls, myself and their uncle walked 10 miles last weekend, so that was pretty great. We were really tired. Um, we walked from one town to the next town, which is basically from the house we live in now to the house that I'm in right now. So it worked out. Yes, but 10 total miles we walked over the weekend. Anyway, what else? Um, we found out when we mowed the grass that we had a ton of lawn we didn't realize we had. Yep. Yes, very true. Um, we hadn't mowed the lawn yet, so we basically, wrong side, yeah, we had been coming back and forth here for over a year and had no idea that we mm -hmm. had such a big lawn. Isn't that true? Hi, I don't live here. Don't remember me. This is William's sister. <laughs> and you might see her again. Don't worry. Might? I meant on a video. <laughs> Might. Actually, I'm pretty sure they've seen you already because they've seen trombone playing videos. Yep, you better remember me. <laughs> Alright, he's playing. waiting for you, babe. Anyway, so nothing too exciting going on right now. However, um, I'm just trying to get some more videos out there. I'm going to start doing the flea market. Wish me luck. Um, I make too much crafts. I just don't have anything to do with them, and since I have a really big habit of giving everything away, William well, thought I should sell it instead. So we'll see how that goes. Let's hopefully it goes well. Can't be sure, but we can hope. So anyway, um, we've got a new piece of yarn over there. Yeah. This whatever color's loose. 
I'm going to show you guys how to make the medals because this is kind of boring video. It's already 10 minutes and I really don't think I've said much of anything. Whatever's loose, honey. Oh, Lord. Just bring me the whole bag. Oh, here. Well, no, no, no. I don't want that one. Just, no, no. Just bring me the whole bag. Sorry, everybody. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make that middle piece. Um, just because I should. And so this is how you're going to start it. You're going to make a slip knot. I make my slip knots like this. Everybody's got different ways. Alright, go on, guys. So you make your slip knot, and you're going to just do one wrap. Single stitches. I do six usually. So that's two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to join them. You're going to find the two. Again, remember I told you about two. Can you see that? One, two. You're going to pull it together like this. That's what I do anyway. Ta da! And then you're going to bring it around. Like we do every time. Bring it around. And pull it through both of those loops. Then, here's the part that I was. Oops, I didn't pull it through both. You're going to take it like this, like a double stitch. You're going to stick it through the center of your rings. So, again, let me show you what we got. We got a little loop here. See it? Like a little flower. Okay. You're going to wrap it around once. You're going to stick it through the center of your flower, pull it through, have three rings again, and then you're going to pull it through all three rings, and then you're going to do it eight times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I think this one's an eighter. I don't know, I'm just going to stretch it. So there's six, but we're going to do eight because it just looks too loose. So we're going to seven. Hmm. One more is eight. And that worked better. So eight, if yours is stretching like mine. With washcloth here, and it's not so stretchy. Okay. So now we can pull this out. This is what we have we have a little perfect flower. Okay, you can see that it's a perfect little flower. And then you'll just do like you normally do. You'll take your loop. You're going to do double crochet. And you're going to stick it through two loops. See again? Two loops. And you'll have three. And then you're going to go one and two and three. Yay! So again, I mean, I know that's not exactly what you wanted, but, um, it works. Um, I sell these two for five dollars. They last a really long time. I've not had any problems with coming apart or, um, shedding or fraying or anything. So, we use them here in our homestead. I just want to tell you that this, um, thing of yarn here, which actually this is 100% uh, cotton. It's no polyester at all. It's 100% cotton, so it's safe and it doesn't have any um, harsh dyes. I'm trying to think what else. BPA free. Um, I'm sure there's something else, but uh, it's a dollar seventy-six if you're going to make this for yourself, even for just giving it a try, and you end up with coasters. Dollar <laughs> seventy-six makes seven. So give it a try. Anyways, I'll bring up a video of our yard. Happy homesteading.